morning, family. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Guys, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, right? We're still growing, right? So, uh, we are just leaving Kings Bay. What part of Georgia is that? St. Mary's, Georgia, or St. Kingsland, Georgia. It's like both of the little cities over here. Very southeast Georgia. It's only like a mile from the border. Between Georgia and Florida. Between Georgia and Florida. So uh, we had to double back to Kings Bay because we had to go back. Okay, let's let me start over. So when we first got to Georgia after leaving Pigeon Forge, when we stayed at Skidaway Island, the goal for staying at Skidaway was for us to go to the storage facility yeah. and clean it out and get all of my machines and stuff like that. And if you guys remember, I told you we could not get in touch with them. They wouldn't answer the phone. We went there. We stayed. We sat in this truck for three hours waiting until closing time. Nobody ever showed up. So finally, uh, well, we had to get back to Jacksonville because we had already paid for it. So I was like, okay, we'll just double back before we leave and then we can go back and get our stuff. Y'all, three days no call back. I mean, we left message after message after message after message, and nobody would call back or anything. So finally, an answering machine or answering service answered the phone. Yeah. And uh, she was able to help us get in and get our stuff. Yeah. Right. So we decided we'll stay at Kings Bay. Yeah. It's the midway point between Savannah and Jacksonville, mm -hmm. right? Because we're trying to get back, you know, start going back towards the house. We've already been out a month. <laughs> already? Ain't that crazy? Well, next week will be a month. Next week will be a month. Next week will be a month. And uh, I hope this is making sense to y'all. <laughs> so anyway, we stayed at Kings Bay for two nights because Donna was dealing with a family emergency. Yeah. And so this is closer to South Carolina. So we had to stay at Kings Bay for two nights, yeah. which I love Kings Bay anyway. And if you go back, you'll see a full video of giving you the rundown of Kings Bay. Kings Bay is a really, really nice RV park. If you want to go somewhere, it's really nice. It's really quiet. They really pride themselves on keeping that RV park clean. Yeah. Right? They do a lot of work yeah. getting that place clean. So, yeah, so right here, I'm going to show you a little bit about what we saw. Um, Kings, Kings Bay has some really, really good size spots. I love the full-size concrete pads. They're about 60 feet long. And they're like 20-something feet wide, so it's full. But my favorite thing about it is the amount of space between each individual sites. They have these little bushes that's located on in between every site, so it's like you got your own little, own little yard almost. And now... They've, they've, they've added a lot of stuff since the last time we've been here. They've added these little fire pit rings, and they got a little vegetable garden. They've cleaned up the doggy park, and they even got this little um, gazebo area that I thought was pretty cool. Now, of course, it's still right next to this lake that has that alligator that we talked about, but it's, it's right there. It's right there. So it's, it's a very, very nice place. They do a really good job of maintaining it. They got a camp host who's always available, who's extremely helpful. So it's a really, really good spot. I'm glad we was able to find and take advantage of that for a couple days. So when we were when we had that base last year in Savannah, mm -hmm. we actually put our RV in storage on King's Bay. So yeah. we are very familiar with it. And so stayed there for two days. And listen, I was on that RV by myself yesterday. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I don't know if I could camp by myself. Like my hats go off to these young ladies who can do it by themselves or, you know, uh, living in their vans and stuff like that. I just, I think I just always need to be talking or always <laughs> need to be doing something. But yesterday I was, so I kept calling down on Yeah. You know, because he had a good, what, three-hour drive there and three-hour drive back. Yeah. So I was calling him, talking to him. And he would be like, yeah, well, I'm about to go. And I'm like, wait, don't go, don't go, don't get off the phone yet. But Donald has never been like a talky, talky person. Like, even when we dated, he didn't talk on the Like, <laughs> I didn't go to bed to him like, oh, you hang up first. But I know we was 40. If, so she, we, said, <laughs> she, if she said, you hang up first, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> he would have said, okay, and then he would have hung up. All right, well, good night, man. Good night. Dead. Yeah, no, <laughs> 
<laughs> See, Donald not that guy. You can't do that with him. I don't know how he was as a teenager. But as a grown man, uh-uh. <laughs> I used to see that in the movies all the time. Nah, you hang up for it. Nah, you hang up. <laughs> and Donald be like, okay, okay, I'll hang up. <laughs> and then I'll call back and say, why you hang up? <laughs> that's what I would do. But anyway, we are on our way back to Jacksonville, Florida. We were Ooh. able to extend our stay. Yes. For, like, what, four more days? Four more days. Because y'all know I love this place, right? I love this place. Yeah. So we're going to be there for four more days And then uh, I think we're going to pick up Destin Yeah, probably Destin And uh, the little spot in Mississippi So we're going to make a, a little two-stop trip On the way back to Houston, Texas but, uh, yeah. So we're going to make several stops I know a lot of you guys are writing us Saying, oh, I would have loved to meet you And stuff like that Yeah. Uh, normally our videos are Like if we're doing it, we're doing it But right now we're kind of lagging behind yeah. So when you see these videos, we've already been there, and but now with this Jacksonville, though, yeah, but we'll be gone by the we'll time. We'll be gone we by the time this. you see this. Exactly. So I am so sorry. Like I'm, I'm so sorry. Like I, I can't imagine us being anywhere. So we have to be someplace for like two than, weeks in order yeah. for us to get, like meet people well, again. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a while, but you you'll have to be in the Texas area or something. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just sorry. I, I we really do appreciate you yeah. guys. But if you're ever coming through the area, or you know, you can reach out to us. But I'm so like we've been getting a lot of, oh, I missed you. You guys are down the street from my house and this, and I feel bad because we we do try to meet you as much as we can, but. We just got a lot of things to do. Like, we've got this RV weighted down. Because <laughs> Donald picked up my printer. He was like, oh, my goodness. I mean, what kind of printer is this? Got, he was like, this printer is too heavy. I don't remember that printer being that heavy. Or maybe I'm just weaker. No, that can't be it. The printer's heavy. It's pretty heavy. The is pretty heavy. The printer's pretty heavy. And he was able to get his golf club. So I now got we're my on, golf club. We're at Jacksonville, so he can play a little I golf. I will be going to the golf course, See? at least to the driving range and making a fool of myself, but but at I least will, you'll be doing it. At least it. I'll be doing it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy for him for that because everywhere we go, it seems like, well, most military bases have a golf course on them. Yes. And he's like, look at them. They're out there. I should be out there too. And I'm like, just rent one. I want my own. So now he has his own. I haven't swung a golf club except for Top Golf in the past year and a half. Oh. Ain't that crazy? I, if somebody would have told me that after a time, I'd be like, "You crazy!" But I left my all my golf clothes in storage for some crazy reason, and that will never happen again. I, I am gonna get back, get myself back in the swing of things. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Donald as we start our house journey, mm -hmm. I was like, it would be ideal for him, for us, to move to a community that has a golf course in it, right? Yeah. Now, we've seen a couple in, in the Houston area, but we're not going to count out San Antonio, Austin, places like that. Yeah. We're not going to count those out. Uh, I know a lot of you guys were telling us, y'all should get enough land where you can put your RV on there and you don't have to worry about storage. And that's something we're definitely looking into. Yeah. Because we could dry camp a lot from home. Wouldn't that be cool? That sure could. That sure could. Now, because Donna would try to use the RV as a man cave. Okay, I sure yeah, would. Yeah, and then when it's time to pull out, we ain't going to be able to pull out because he's going to have too much stuff in <laughs> So we're not going to do that. That's and we're still going like to RV. We're, we're still going to RV a lot. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to hit up a lot of these Texas parks. We've told y'all that before, but it's been a while since we came and just sat down and talked to y'all, you know, sitting in the truck talking yeah. and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, we're not really doing much of anything. I know Donald is tired of driving yeah. because he did a lot of driving these last four days. Oh like, my goodness. Buying gas for this is ridiculous. So uh, we're going to St. Louis and for Memorial Day. And I'm like, I just feel like we should rent a little car yeah. instead of trying to take, because we're just going to pick up my granddaughter Cameron and yeah. Jordan. 
and my son Tim, I think my son Tim is going to come back with us and stay with us for a couple weeks because he had been to Houston in a while. You know, my sister-in-law still lives here, but she travels back and forth for work. But uh, So I think you guys will get to see Trey and Cam. You will not believe how tall Trey is. Trey has to be about 6'5". <laughs> You don't think he's 6'5"? I don't think he's 6'5". He probably, he probably like 6'1 or something like that, maybe. So Donald Don don hate for somebody to be taller than him. Look at him. He ain't that tall. He taller than you. He taller than me now. <laughs> I've always said, I, I, used to, I used to mess with him and say, hey, man, once you get taller than me, you can't go to my house no more. And he'll be like, what can I do about it? And I'm like, I can't I don't know. Help I'm it. sorry. But, but, yeah, he's taller than me now. So, hey, it had to happen. It had to happen. Yeah, of course. But anyway, uh, we don't have much to bring you right now. Like I said, we're traveling from Kings Bay to Jacksonville, Florida, and it's only a 50 minute. It's under an hour. Right These time. are the days that we love, we <laughs> dream about, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and uh, we took DJ down to the beach while we were in Jacksonville. And I mean, he barked at everybody that walked by. I'm like, man, I came out here to lay out on this beach and be quiet. But we DJ said, just the first time we walked him on the beach, he was good. He didn't bark at anybody. But dude, as soon as we set our little chairs and umbrella, and people started walking by our area, he gets possessive on area. He's territorial. That's what that's it is. That's what it is. Because I was wondering too, because where we were sitting, there was no reason for. But I mean, you can't tell people where to walk. Yeah. It's just what they do. But everybody was walking close to where we sat. Yeah. And I thought that because when I see people on the beach, I'm not going to walk up against the back of your chair. Yeah. And a lot of people were doing it. I don't know why. Because it was nothing but space. Yeah. So I don't get it. Like, they wouldn't have been walking in rocks or broken seashells or anything like that. So I don't know why, but... And I, they probably wanted to get close to see DJ too. That's what I was I was thinking that they were dog lovers and they just wanted to see DJ. But DJ is just like he barking. So I mean, his bark could be so loud. I was like, oh my goodness! And I it's mean, kind of barking. piercing sometimes. It can be, and I'm just like, oh, this poor baby, these people. So like normally when you go on the beach in Jacksonville, there's like maybe 10 people yeah. we have never been there on a weekend before like if we've been there on a weekend we just never went down to the beach because we had been to the beach already you know three four times and I'm like it's Saturday let's just sit by the RV sit out maybe we could watch some dolphins or something like that so we never go down there but anyway we went down there Saturday for the first time and I promise you it was about 60 or 70 people out there had to be. Yeah. But, but I'm talking about, you know, now well, that's not well, a lot. Well, the beach is like about a mile long, so. No, it's more than a mile. It's about like a mile and a half. A mile and a half. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, if I lived here, you could not stop me from coming to the beach. I, oh. I would be a beach bum. I would just come to the beach every Peggy day. made a joke like if she had, if we had kids stationed there and they had kids, she'd be like, uh, I'm coming to take care of the grandbabies. <laughs> and she just be taking the grandbabies to the beach every chance she got. I'm saying if, if my kids were military and stationed here, you could not, you couldn't pry me away from this place. <laughs> because baby, I I love everything about Jacksonville. Yeah, I do. Well, about Mayport. Yeah. Mayport, not yeah. Jacksonville per se, because we don't really venture out much while we're here. No, we, we don't. don't venture out much. No. I, I really like Mayport Naval Station. The base has everything we need. Um, you know, the gas station, a small little PX and stuff like that. The commissary is off base. But a couple of restaurants, the golf course, diesel gas. They got everything I need. So, hey, I'm happy. I like it there. It's just, it's the, the, the wind, the, the air, the sounds, the water crashing. I don't know what it is, but it is peace. I, I can't explain it either. And I've got my fingers crossed right now because... I want my front spot again. <laughs> we had a front spot, fam. And I, I, my fingers are crossed. I ain't gonna cross my fingers. I'm just gonna say a word to, to the Lord as we <laughs> go on down, because yeah. we won't get back this way until next year. So yeah. I'm trying to make the best of it. Because yeah. I was like, 
we go to Destiny, you might as well go to Tampa, you might as well go to Orlando. <laughs> might, like, might, 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 might. All these might as well. You <laughs> may as well. <laughs> you go to Texas, you might as well go to uh, Dallas. No, it's, it's pretty far apart. Tampa's I'm like six hours because, from Jacksonville and stuff. Because he know I love Disney. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to Disney in October. Yeah, we're going to Disney. So, so, no, yeah. September. Yeah. September. We're going to, we're, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to Disney in September. Exactly. We have something coming up in September. But, uh, yeah, the second week of September, I will be at Disney. So that's why I'm not really pressing it right now. Because mm -hmm. Donald know he want to go to, I, I've been trying to sell Disney to him. I'm like, man, you know you want to go to Earl of Sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> I love the Earl of Sandwich. It's one of my favorite places to go. Every time we go to Disney Springs, what is it called? They call it Disney Springs or something? Yeah, they, I think they still call it yeah. Disney Springs. I, I love, every time we go to Disney Springs, I'm going to get me a sandwich from the Earl of Sandwich, a nice hot pastrami or um, or something, who knows what, but I love all the hot sandwiches. But I'm not going to go all the way down to Disney just for a hot sandwich, fam. It is Disney we Disney. already here. Now, and plus all the stuff that's going on with Disney right now, we want to see how this is going to play out. <laughs> so we're going to mind our business, okay? <laughs> but anyway, fam, I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all because we haven't talked to y'all in a minute, minute. It's been a while, baby. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm just happy because your girl cleared out the store. Now, we had to leave some things behind. Yeah. And, they, and I'm sure they're going to be happy because... I was supposed to meet somebody there to get some of the stuff, but the person never showed up. Yeah. So I'm just like, we, we can't. So I tell you right now, every time it's time to clear some stuff out, boy, it's, it's a very difficult, the, the, the dwindling process, whatever we call the weeding out process. Yeah. Peggy said, all I want is my machines and my supplies. That's all I need. And then you get there. Oh, baby, you got three pairs of Ugg boots. Oh, get them. Oh, baby, you got this. Oh, get that. Yeah. Oh, baby. Like, I need my Ugg boots. <laughs> like, if you have ever worn an Ugg boot, you know how comfortable they are. You got to get your boots now. Yeah, I, I, I get that. And, and plus, it's not cheap either. So I was all for that. But it was just like every time I showed her, so, oh, I want that. Ooh. That's how, that's how it goes, fam. But I had to have it. Yeah, she had to have it, though. So but we ended up bringing a lot of stuff back. <laughs> But that was the purpose. That was the purpose. I, I'm just glad we were able to find room for everything and still be able to use our RV to the fullest. So yeah. we didn't get so much that we did leave a few things behind. Like somebody, somebody gonna have them a dang near brand new microwave because we had to leave it behind and stuff. So somebody got it. And I'm gonna tell you what's so crazy, right? Because there were people going into the Goodwill. The storage place is right, right next door to right the Goodwill. Right next to the Goodwill. And I'm like, hey, what are you, what are you buying? Or, or you, do you need a microwave? <laughs> do you need dishes? Do you need um, computer stuff? Like I was, and they was one lady was like, do you have any African any artifacts? Any African artifacts and African art? Why are you blowing? Oh, well, he telling the people not to come over. It's about trying to cut them off. Ain't nobody in front of him. Watch. He's not going to slow down. We wasn't belong for us. No, nah, we good. We in the floor traffic, baby. We in the floor traffic. We in the floor traffic. That was. It's just nervousing when you see somebody uh, blowing. You don't know why they're blowing. Yeah. But I think somebody would have blew before him. Cause one time we was driving down the highway and our uh, awning opened. Oh yeah. On the vibe. Yeah. And somebody uh, was, you know, the guy pulled us over. He, well, people was trying to get our attention, but we weren't paying attention, and so yeah. the guy kind of pulled close to us and he was like roll your window down roll your window down <laughs> and so the awning would be on my side and so now every time I look out the window I make sure that the awning is not flapping out I always do that the prize yeah 
Good morning, family. Donald and I are still here at Mayport. It's the naval base here in Jacksonville, Florida. As you guys know, if you watch any video that we've ever made, you know that this is my most favorite RV resort in the world. I love this place. Being it is being our last day, we have come up here to spend some time, to just relax and enjoy ourselves. Today I wanted to come down and do a walk, you know, get my steps in this morning, but I couldn't because the tide was super high this day. It was great for fishing for a lot of people, but for us, we just couldn't get down and walk on the beach like we wanted to. So as you see here, when Donald pans around, he's going to show you how, how high that tide is, right? Normally it's about 20 feet back, but today was just high for some reason and we didn't get to enjoy our last day but I just want you to feel and see what I'm feeling and see hey what's going on fam hey guys Hey, we are here at Mayport, and we weren't even here a couple hours before we ran into these guys right here. We got Craig and Leticia. Leticia. I'm going to always get the name wrong, fam. But uh, we met them first time at Carolina Pines yeah. a little bit more than a year ago. Mm -hmm. And then we get down here, and we run into them again. Yeah. It's just a way of bringing good people, like-minded people together. So how yeah. you doing, fam? Hey, you want to say hi good. to the fam? It's good to be here. <laughs> Hey everybody. We finally made it to Peggy's favorite spot. There you it go. is beautiful. Oh, yes, it we is. are definitely yeah, enjoying really ourselves. Nice. It yeah. was very nice to look up and see Peggy and Don here. It and was it's shocking. Very shocking. <laughs> I was walking Small by world. with right. I was walking right. by with DJ and uh I guess walk right by Leticia. Leticia I'm gonna stop saying I'm walk, I walked by L. <laughs> I walked by L and uh Greg yeah, Greg told her, he said, uh, wait a minute, that's Don. Cause that's Donna DJ. Right. And she's like, what? Yeah, look at yeah. yeah. that. When we saw DJ, she was like, girl, I started singing the song. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> but yeah, we just out here talking. So we're going to go ahead and get back. We just wanted to say hi to you guys. And let you know how cool it is to run to people we like. If you see us, make sure you say hi so we can come by and talk to you. All right, fam. Take me on.
The universe has known 